Hi everyone, it's Irene and I've, uh, I'm here to show you a little project. I showed this flowers, my Kanzashi flowers, on my channel several, several months ago and I had gifted some out to my FCG Muriel. Hi Muriel! Um, and I've been asked to show how I make mine, so I'm going to try to attempt to do that. Um, yeah, I usually do this when I'm sitting and um, trying to stay quiet. Uh, it's very good busy work and so for me happy hands busy hands happy life so let me see if I can go and show you how I do this um, I was taught this technique of kanzashi flowers which has been around forever and ever when I was a little girl by my aunt and my dad um, had gifted me this bar of steel it's um, yep it's it's the original bar that I used to work on and she started me off with a hot knife and I believe this is the original one too because it still has the old tip on there and what we used to do is we would have some ribbon all ready and cut up ready to go and we would use this block of metal and we would cut it off the roll and it would as it cuts it off the roll it would also singe the ends and stop it from fraying so that's why it's hot and then we would continue on to folding and scoring and doing and then use a candle here to make all the kanzashi. So let me blow this out because I no longer do that. Um, that's very hard. It's not hard but it's just, you know, I with my mom around I just can't have this kind of hot stuff nearby in the, in the midst of her trying to grab it. So what I do now is I go and get ribbon that's uh, an inch and a half wide and you can get this ribbon from Hobby Lobby and when it goes on sale you can get it pretty cheaply this is six dollars regular but I always get it for three and it comes with all kinds of colors and let me just show you yep I have baggies and baggies and baggies of all these little um, things I have made yep look how many all these are baggies of petals that I have made and this is the size that I like to make super tiny but really adorable because they make these really pretty kanzashi flowers and I usually have my scrap paper that I punch out into circles and I stick them on that So, I, and here's the backs of them right here so that's what I like to do and you can put all kinds of centers on them and uh, make them super pretty, use them on all kinds of projects, um, all kinds of colors, and so and, and depending on how you fold it and how you make them, they come out kind of different looking. But let me show you how I make mine, um, and maybe that can help some people out there who don't know how. So I take my roll, I don't really measure, I just roll it out. I, I cut, I eyeball a square and I start folding from corner to corner always keeping the sealed end on my left side and then one more time to corner so then you have this right there what I do is I take off about that much snip it off and singe the ends and as you pinch it, it seals it. So see, it's sealed. Then I take, then I turn that opening towards me, and then I just cut a diagonal from this tip here to the middle of there. And I usually cut this into a little can because otherwise the little clippings go everywhere. And then you just want to seal the butt end right here. And then as you press, it seals it in. And I just do it one more time. And no, it's not hot. <laughs> a lot of people ask me if it's hot. And then there you are. You get a little teeny little leaflet. And they're super tiny. And that's the start of it right there. So again, you have a square. And you fold and fold three times. And I turn it towards me. I cut off the end. I cinch it. good cinch and then I cut off the butt end of it 
You just want to take out that bulk and then you cinch it. Hopefully that makes sense. And there it is. It's that easy. And then watching a movie, watch TV, next thing you know, you have all these petals. And uh, you see? Look how many. And then you can just put them together in any configuration you'd like. You can also make it to where you can put two petals together and make it super bulky. So I'm going to cut out a square here. And then you can do another different fabric, but I'm going to just use the same color and another square. And when you're doing your fold, you can fold one into the other, into the other, and then you got you got this right here, right? So you do the same thing with this one. Corner, corner. And I'm going to the opposite end. My opening here and my opening there, I'm going to put, I'll put the openings opposite of each other. Give it a good fold. Cut that portion off right there. I'm going to singe it. It's kind of thick, so I'm going to give it a couple times across the flame. Give it a good singe and pinch. See, and it singed it. I'll turn it around. Cut the bulk off the end. Not too much now. Okay, and then I'm going to singe it. Give it a good burn. You just want to cinch it and make it stick at the same time. And then you puff it up and you get a double petal. And then you can make some really pretty flowers out of those petals. And it's just a matter of putting all those petals together. And it comes out quite pretty. So hopefully that helps everyone out there of how to make these kanzashi. There's many ways of doing them. This is just my version of making these beautiful things. You can make them in different colors use them on different projects and just really fun to play around with. So have fun with your ribbons you guys and check out Hobby Lobby when the ribbons go on sale. Take good care. Bye bye.